Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to finally a glam, glammed up face. Uh, I did my hair and I'm so excited to have this video for you guys. I'm excited to sit down and film and have some type of normal, normalcy. I hope that's how you say it. I know that's how you spell it. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Um, just some routine back in my life. I honestly feel like for March, I was very stressed out and just but with everything going on, obviously, like I didn't have the motivation. I just didn't want to do anything. I, I just felt like the days were going by and I was moping around all day just because I felt so stressed and just out of it. Um, we did get the news that we will be on lockdown on quarantine for another month. So... I didn't want to keep going, keep feeling the way I was during March. Um, of course, I did film here and there just to try and get out of the funk. And that's what I had for you guys. But this month, I definitely want to be more productive and stay more busy because I find that when I don't do anything, I'm just literally consumed by everything that's going on. And of course, it is important to stay informed. But the way that has been consuming me was just it's just too much at times and it's too stressful so I decided that I wanted to start off the month right and film do my makeup something that I have been doing a lot is watching YouTube videos and you know they have helped me de-stress and just take my mind off things so I was like you know what if other people's videos are helping me I want to help you guys as well and de-stress let me know what you guys want to see what type of videos I know you guys really enjoyed the cleaning videos but I mean there's only so many of those so many times I could clean because for the most part my makeup area is clean now and so is the closet <laughs> so I have nothing else to clean but yeah, let me know what other style of videos you guys would like to see. I know uh, I want to do kind of like shop my stash makeup tutorials, but more of like chit chatty ones. And yeah, uh, I'm excited to have this favorite video for you guys. Now, I don't have a crazy, crazy amount of favorites like I do other times because I didn't really do my makeup that much in March. But I would say the times that I was reaching for makeup, these are the things that were like, top and there's one specific product that I have used non-stop and I even used it today I do have a few skincare products so without any further ado let's get on to the favorites so one thing I want to mention that I've been doing is I decided to take all my favorite foundations my favorite concealers and setting powders put them aside in a drawer and not use them and I mean these are like my top top absolute favorite holy grail products and put them to the side so that I can get use out of the products that I'm not using that have been in my collection and I just you know they start hitting the back of the drawer just because you start using your everyday holy grail products so I decided to do that I want to show you guys very quickly like the style of it so per se I put away like eight concealers that are like my top absolute favorite concealers and I'm using these that maybe they have been my favorites in the past but I just stopped using them because I found something that I like more. So I want to get use of my makeup and this is a perfect time especially if I'm just going to be filming for you guys. I don't want to be wasting my like holy grail products. I'm going to save those for when we can finally go out again. But, you know, the times that I just am going to film in here, there's also times where I feel so stressed that I just come in my little corner, I do my makeup, and it really helps me. Uh, it's very soothing to watch a YouTube video and do my makeup. Like, that relaxes me the most and to the most. So, uh, these are, like, the ones that I put on the side so that I need to use more and that, you know, this is the only thing that I'm, like, kind of like limiting myself to use. So my Milani concealer, uh, NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop, ColourPop. Again, these have been absolute favorites in the past. I just found newer ones that I like a little more. The Jeffree Star concealer. This one is not really my favorite, so I kind of want to get through it, which is also another reason I put products here. The Makeup Revolution Matte Concealer, Juvia's Place Concealer, uh, KKW Beauty and the Morphe concealer so I want to try and get at least through one or two of these that will make me really happy 
And then, you know, maybe once I get through one, I'll get like a week of using my, um, one of my top Holy Grail concealers. The same thing I did with my foundations. I have on deck only the ones I can use. The Morphe, uh, Huda Beauty, CoverGirl, Maybelline, um, a Clinique one, Makeup Revolution, Juvia's Place. So those foundations are the ones that if I'm going to do my makeup to film that's all I'm using uh, my favorite one that I kept on there and this probably should go into my absolute favorites is the Maybelline super stay foundation this is the one I'm wearing today and yeah I think I'm gonna put that one there because this is one that I would definitely repurchase the other ones that I mentioned I don't really think I will repurchase them I rather use them up and then be able to buy another foundation that's on my list also side note I haven't been buying any makeup whatsoever like I have nothing because it's not really a priority for me to buy makeup right now that's why I want to do those style of like shop my stash and you know that type of videos so we can uh, at least do that during this quarantine or I can do that you know go through my makeup before it goes bad and then for powders I did the same thing I don't really have a favorite powder now primer favorites that I have have been these two elf ones and it's been the only ones that I've been using really really have been loving them um the matte one I really ended up liking it because I felt and I saw a difference in it actually keeping my skin matte all day long so I will apply a very thin coat of this specifically in my t-zone area and then I go in with my poreless putty to fill in the pores and that has been working beautifully so I kind of feel like if they had made these two together they would have like been absolute perfection um but for me this is kind of like my my step in my primer this is what I do first this one and then this one and it just works beautifully so these two have been my absolute favorites and the only primers I have been using during this time now I need to talk about these sponges because I was the most excited for these sponges real techniques face and body sponge is probably one of my absolute favorites that I have purchased in a long long time this is so so good I want to buy backups because I am obsessed with this sponge it is very big and that's what I love it covers my torta face like that <laughs> so that's something that I really like about this but it blends out your foundation so so beautifully I feel like I know it looks super yucky because I used to today and like it absorbs a lot but I actually feel like it doesn't absorb as much product as we think it does because it gives me that full coverage even with foundations that aren't very full coverage it gives me the look like I applied a lot of foundation so I like that a lot about this uh, sponge as well and the Real Techniques um this is their velvet powder sponge which is specifically for powders that's how they promoted it and that's actually the only way I've used it I've used other velvet sponges for foundation and my powders and they work beautifully I actually haven't wet this one though just because I've kept it just to set my makeup and apply powder and it works wonders I feel like it sets the makeup so beautifully um, and it fills in those extra pores that might have not gotten covered with my powder so I really have been loving that as well anyways <laughs> after that little a break um this is the product that i've been most excited to talk about and this is the only eyeshadow palette that i have used and i know it's crazy because you guys have seen the amount of palettes i have but this one the maybelline nudes of new york has become my absolute everyday favorite palette and i am wearing it today i have combined it with liquid eyeshadows with just everything or just this palette or done a smudgy like smoky eyeliner look I've just really been loving this I don't know what it is about these browns like these browns in this palette right here I'm obsessed with these two are like my favorite and honestly what I use the most from the palette I love that it has two shades of those cream like uh brow bone colors that I love to use up there we have a uh, like a pinky one and a more nude beige one <sighs> this palette is just amazing like I 
love how buttery pigmented and how beautifully these blend out and i will say they do have a little extra fallout than normal but i don't mind it because it just performs so so beautifully on the eyes and i just can't say enough about this like i am obsessed with this palette <laughs> i also love that it's from the drugstore and it's relatively affordable another eyeshadow product that i've been using is the stila liquid uh glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows this little trio in particular that i showed you guys in my last haul um it was from their christmas collection but they started rolling out at tj maxx marshall's and all those stores you know before all this hit is when i bought it uh the little set was 12.99 which these normally retail around 25 bucks so you know that was a steal the one i'm wearing on my eyes today though do you guys see how beautiful that sparkles and all the different sparkles is this color in infinite um today i was just feeling a little more fun i wanted something more glam and i did throw on my chunky headband which now that i see it, it doesn't look that crazy and i actually really like it so i'm going to keep rock rocking these chunkier ones i was very like oh my gosh why did i buy so many they don't they look too weird but obviously when your makeup and your hair is done up it looks differently than when you're looking like shrek and you just try and make it work <laughs> So yeah, these other two colors are Forever and Eternal and they're also beautiful and I have been using them as well. Moving on to two face products that I have been really, really loving. This one, I got it in my BoxyCharm last month, I think, or the month before. I think last month is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Diffused Heat. This gives you such a beautiful, like, subtle flush of color. And that's why I really, really like these. You can definitely pack it on, but I like more of a wash of color, not necessarily, like, a lot of blush. These are personally some of my favorite blushes. I know to everyone, blush is just blush. So is it so it is it is so to me as well but you know something about these two just like I like them a lot <laughs> and then we have the wet and wild halo 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 hello halo blush lighter in the color after sex glow this is what it looks like and I talked about this in my la in my other video I think I did like a trying new makeup um and I told you guys I wouldn't use this as a blush because honestly it doesn't show up on my skin as a blush. It just looks like a like, kind of like a dark highlighter. So I mix them together and it's just such a beautiful, subtle, like really nice glow from within glow. Um, and definitely you can pack it on but I did like something more subtle today supposedly. <laughs> but yeah, this one's gorgeous. And then... For lips, I would say I have been really reaching for just glosses. I'm obsessed with glosses again, um, and that's what I've been reaching for. So the combo that I have on my lips today is definitely one of my favorite combos. This lip liner is not available anymore, but you can use whatever nude lip liner you have. This is the color Muñeca from the Becky G and ColourPop collab. That's what I lined my lips with today and filled them in, except the filled them in with the exception of the center of my lips. And then I go ahead and pop on the Artist Couture, which I've talked about this so much, I know. I think the last three months I've talked about this gloss being my favorite, but I can't help it. I just really, really like it. It's their Uncensored 2.0 gloss, and I just love it. I can't stop talking about it. So I apply this, and then just in the center, I apply a Fenty Gloss Balm. Doesn't matter the color. Today, I am wearing specifically the color Fussy. This has actually also been, like, my favorite gloss on its own. I've told you guys, I love these glosses so, so much. I keep talking about them nonstop. But it's just a product that I like to carry in my purse. Obviously, not right now, because... Girl, I ain't going anywhere. But this is a gloss that whenever I just need something on my lips, this is just so comfortable and so glossy and, and makes your lips look very juicy. So that's another favorite. And now let's move on to this product. I was about to move into skincare. But I have been using this Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And this was part of a set that I got from the holiday collection, like a Tatcha set. And I hadn't used it. So last month I was like, you know what, let me start trying this out the days I was doing my makeup. Um, and I really like to prep my skin and then to set my skin in. 
and I must add that it doesn't make my skin oily or too greasy so that's why I like it it gives you like a very subtle nice glow and it kind of wakes up your skin uh, after all the powder and all the full coverageness that I apply so I definitely really really enjoy this now let's move on to the four products I have of skincare these are probably like the set products that I use um, and then I incorporate other products like my cleansers change a lot. Um, sometimes my, what is this, my, my serum changes but for the most part I've really been loving this one because it's been helping my skin a lot. And this is a La Roche Pose uh, Hyaluronic Acid. It's a serum. It has pure hyaluronic acid, vitamin B5, and mad. Thick, I don't know how to pronounce it. I ain't even not gonna butcher it. But this is what it like it looks like. I got it in my influencer, I think a couple of weeks ago. But as you can see, I have really been using it. I really, really like it. It gives my skin a very, very nice hydration, especially because I was getting those patches of dryness around this area again. I know, so annoying. Um, but that helped a lot, and I realized that this Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer helped my skin a lot as well. Um, I would say during the beginning of the month of March, my skin just exploded in pimples and acne and I, I'm, I'm sure it's all the stress because I feel like now that I've been a little more relaxed like towards the end of March um, and using these products I saw a big difference because I was using a different toner so when I changed it up to this one this was the only change I did in my skincare like I, it helped my skin so much like it, it soothed it my skin was very red as well and I feel like that has helped even more I just really like that and it just feels so nice on my skin. All these products, I had them in my skincare fridge. And I just, that's another favorite. Cold skincare I have been obsessed with. It's a different feeling. For me, honestly, it's a different feeling. I don't like anything that feels hot on my skin. Or like thick moisturizers that feel just too thick. So for me, cold, cold skincare is just... A1. And then these other two products are also Laneige products. Uh, this watermelon, watermelon, see there you go. This Laneige water sleeping mask. Oh my gosh, this has also changed the game. Now you guys know I was very faithful to my watermelon glow recipe sleeping mask and I still love that. It's amazing. I keep it in my skincare fridge. But I like this just a pinch more just because that one sometimes in the morning uh, I feel like it starts like balling up on my skin and you know I don't really like that feeling. So um, now that I've been using this one, this one once you let it dry on your skin and it like fully absorbs into your skin you don't feel it at night and you know it in the morning it, your skin is like not dry in like a dry and crusty way but like the... The product is completely dry. You don't feel it on your skin. And that's what I really like. So I really like this one. And it really moisturizes. I have a bigger one, like a huge tub. But I've been trying to go through my little one so that I can get to the bigger ones because I haven't opened that one. And then the last product is this Laneige sleeping mask. But this is their lip sleeping mask. I really, really love this because uh, whenever I feel my lips getting crusty dusty, pop some of this and it immediately like softens up the lips. Love that. Also, I have been keeping this in my skincare fridge and I don't know what it is. Again, applying this cold on the lips, it just <sighs> feels so good. So... Another favorite definitely has to be my little skincare fridge and the cold skincare products. That definitely has been amazing. Yeah, that's basically it for these favorites. It felt so, so good to film and just talk to you guys because I really do miss talking to you guys and talking about makeup and putting on makeup, glamming up. Like I said, sometimes when I'm just feeling like a little down or in a funk, I come, put a, vi a YouTube video on, do my makeup. Even if I don't film for you guys, I just have been doing that to just de-stress and you know it has been helping a lot so yeah let me know in the comments down below what you guys have been doing to kind of like you know take your mind off things de-stress and just you know let me know I want to know what you guys have been doing I've also been coloring my adult coloring books uh, this is one of my favorites and probably has to be another favorite thing that I've been doing um 
so it's just kind of like this is what it looks like I don't <laughs> you guys like my my fashion models and their super highlighter dresses but yeah um I think this one's from Amazon I don't remember the name and I really don't this is like super super old I've maybe had it for like two three years so all the love you guys gave me on my cleaning videos I'm really really glad you guys enjoyed those I honestly was very nervous to post those I even told my girlfriend I was like babe I don't want to post them what if like they don't like them because it's something different that I had never done on my channel but like I said I really enjoy watching cleaning videos and yeah thank you guys again so so much for watching i appreciate all your support and like always i will see you all in my next video